Welcome back to Educator.com's AP English Language and Composition course. This lesson is an introduction to the synthesis essay. Let's get started. All right, we begin as always with a brief lesson overview. We're going to ask what is a synthesis essay? What are they actually asking you to do? Uh, we're going to ask why do you have to write one? What does it actually matter? That will help you figure out what you're looking for here. And then we're going to go over some tips on reading the prompt carefully, twice. Uh, reading the texts, sort of. What does that mean? Uh, finding the main idea or main ideas, which is far more common, and on how to choose your sources. All right, to begin with, what is a synthesis essay? A synthesis essay is a type of essay that asks you to draw information from a variety of sources and synthesize, or create, an analysis from what you read. So basically, you have to look at a whole bunch of different sides of something and make them all make sense together. A synthesis essay always involves multiple sources, and at least one of them should be visual. Now, you don't have to use all the sources in your final essay, but you should examine them all before making your outline. So you need to know what you've got, but after that, you can cherry pick. All right, why do you have to write a synthesis essay? Why are they doing this to us? Well, there's actually a particular reason. The synthesis essay was added to the exam years and years ago because college professors begged for it, and it's not because they hate you. You remember, if you pass this test, if you get a four or a five on this exam, chances are you will be able to press uh, place out of a class called freshman composition, which normally all new college students have to take to make sure that they know how to write papers. So this test is designed to test your ability to write papers, admittedly under time constraints. Now in college, you will have to read and evaluate multiple sources and integrate them into a coherent, cogent piece of writing. You have to do this all the time in almost every general education class you take and almost all of your major classes, unless you're in a really spe specialized major. Basically, if you're going to place out a freshman comp, you have to prove that you already know how to write a good research paper. And because they can't give you several days to do your own research on the test, they're just going to give you the sources and make you go from there. Once again, this is about your skills, not about the actual content of the prompt. So they're not really testing you on how well you know whatever topic they picked out of, they pulled out of their hat for this test. They're testing you on how well you deal with multiple sources on any given topic which is what you'll need to do in college.